Hi, y'all. Something I'd like to talk about today is covert manipulation, coercive power and control. There are people in your life who may be being abusive and they're so manipulative that you may not even be aware of it. They will use techniques to turn it around on you and act like you're being too sensitive and you don't know what you're talking about and they'll laugh it off. Uh, for example, say take that you are parenting and you ask your partner to perform some certain activities to help take care of the family, the managed family, take care of the kids. And they say, oh, no, I'm not going to do it because you're, you're better at it than me, so I'm not going to do that. Well, that's a form of manipulation. Or say you want your spouse to help you um, to do acts of service and say you would like for them to maybe cook for you sometime or something like that. And they say, oh no, I'm not going to do that. That's not my language, my love, in my love language. I, I don't do acts of service. I'm more into affection and, and touching. So I'm not going to do that. Well, <laughs> that is manipulative because in a relationship, it's a two-way street. And just because that's not your love language, then that doesn't mean that you don't have to give and take in a relationship. So, let me see, another thing, someone may uh, cross your boundaries and they be, may be behaving inappropriately and say they may be stomping around and slamming doors and giving you the, the, the stink eye, like if looks could kill eye. And then you're asking them, well, you know, what's wrong? Something must be the, the matter. And they say, oh, no, nothing's wrong. And they pretend like nothing's wrong. And then they act to me, well, actually, that's abusive, the way they're behaving uh, by slamming things and stomping things. That's uh, threatening behavior. And it's toxic. So, or say that... Um, you disagree with something and you're stating your opinion and they say that you're wrong and that you don't that you don't really feel or think that then that's crossing your boundary because that's emotionally manipulative because you have a right to express your thoughts and feelings and no one else knows what, how you think or feel. And they can't pretend like they know better than you. So all of these little things add up to someone who may have narcissistic tendencies and who, who is emotionally manipulative and abusive. And it's covert. It's these little things. Another thing that they might do is say you have a friend and you've been spending more time with them. And then they start complaining and complaining and saying negative things about this friend until eventually, without you realizing it, you stop seeing this friend because subconsciously or even you're consciously aware that the, the person who's complaining, you know, your spouse or whoever who's complaining about your friend keeps on complaining and you don't want to hear it anymore. So there are little ways that if you're agreeable like me and you like to keep the peace and you are more empathetic and caregiving like I happen to be, then you can have, a, there's a chance that you can be easily manipulated and that these types of personalities actually seek you out because you are agreeable. And they feel a sense of power and control over you. And they love to get that nurturing energy. So anyway, it's something to maybe look up about narcissistic personalities and covert abuse tactics and manipulation and control. 
there's lots of information out there and I wasn't aware of it until the internet happened and then that really helped me so much. Uh, another book to read is, um, I think it's the Verbally Abusive Relationship. There are so many books. Um, there's just so much information. But I think <laughs> that we could all benefit from educating ourselves on that because there are lots of p immature people who are very manipulative and controlling and drama makers. So thank y'all for listening and I hope that maybe this causes you to question some things in your life and maybe correct and make changes and get those toxic people out of your life. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.